Ladies and gentlemen, we are four nights away from the next pay-per-view TLC. Welcome to the Goho Show for Nitro. My name is Dave Easton. Alongside, of course, my commentary partner, Tim Price. And Tim, what the... What, what's going on here? Yeah, what is... Wait a minute. Well, well the uh -oh. backstage... Oh, here. not these the... two. Oh. Well, Gilberto and Connor Rhodes have had their... Well, they've had their disagreements over the United States title the last few weeks. And it looks like we're kicking the action off early here. Yeah, we, we got cut off here and then straight to backstage. And, well, yeah, these two have had nothing but issues when it comes to, well, USA Championship. Of course, Connor Rhodes, who, who defeated Gilberto at Over the Limit. And, of course, this continues on. And what is he thinking of here? Oh, oh it looks like he's... It, what a chop block. And, well, he looked like both men came out on um, the worst for wear. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he went for the chop block, but yeah, I don't know if he... Well, yeah, he got the chop block, but I don't think he's thinking of that. Well, what is going on? We're going to have to get some these two to stop fighting, surely. And in to the dressing room now. A bit of behind, the, get... behind the scenes here. We need to get some tab security back here to separate these oh! two. Oh, Jesus. Someone's taken the bin out. Got him. Connor Rhodes is going to town on Gilberto here. Well, it looked like Gilberto was the one that threw the first punch. So you've got to say that it looks like uh, Connor Rhodes is just getting his own back here. Well, yeah, you could say that. I mean, I think Gilberto was. Oh! God, get <laughs> double hits there into the my lock of fastening back of the head into the trash can. Yeah, you've got to see Connor Rhodes definitely. <laughs> all over Gilberto here and I think the Mexican may have realised that he's bitten off more than he can chew as oh into the wall oh, and then into the door my god I mean you know I think Gilberto's made a horrible mistake here trying to get into a fight with Connor Rhodes here you've got to see in here that this is all breaking down these two a big hatred for each other oh right into the locker and oh my goodness, what is he going to do here? Oh my god, no way. Oh my goodness. Oh! Jesus! That could seriously injure a man. Eric Kurt, well. What? I think we need to get some medical attention for Gilberto. Well, we need, we need to get to action here in Pensacola, Florida for Nitro. Making his way to the ring first, he is the number one contender for the Nitro Championship, Cesaro. Well, here's the Swiss Superman, Cesaro Nazipedia, the number one contender for the Nitro Championship. And it will go down this Sunday night at TLC. It will be Cesaro versus Marcus Cutter for the Nitro Championship. It looks like Marcus Cutter's reign could be very, very short. Well, we can see some great action here tonight. We can see some more great action further on and Oh, okay, Cesaro be the next one to be Nitro Champion. He is going to be, well, he's going to be teaming up with uh, Joseph the Other Beast here. As uh, he's going to take on Tyson Mason and Marcus Cutter in an opening contest. Oh, what a very interesting matchup we have here. Well, coming off of that huge backstage pool. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, his tag team partner from Colorado. He is Joseph the, the Beast. But well, what a taxi bomb this Cesaro has in Joseph the, the Beast. You know, you've got two just big powerhouses in that ring, but at the same time, you know, two men are just very athletic and very fast as well. You know, you've got to be thinking that what a combination this is. Many people never thought they would have seen Joseph the, the Beast and Cesaro teaming up. And well, we get it here tonight. Four nights away from TLC. And, well, Joseph the other beast will want to get some revenge on Tyson Mason. Yeah, he certainly will, but can he get well, that revenge? We'll find out in this little huge matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents introduce him first. He is the current Nitro champion, Marcus Cutter. Yeah, here is the well, current Nitro champion. What a dangerous man this Marcus Carter is as well. 
He's definitely going to want to get some momentum headed towards, you know, his big title defense. If he could get a big win in this World Tag Team matchup, he'll certainly do that. Yeah, Marcus Cutter, who defeated, of course, Murphy to win, sorry, Big E to win the championship. Sorry, I do apologize. You've now got to think that Marcus Cutter's title win could be as long as Big E's because Cesaro is a big threat this Sunday night um, at TLC. Yeah, he certainly is a huge threat, is Cesaro to the reign of Marcus Cutter. And, well, it could be time up for Marcus Cutter to come this Sunday at TLC, and it could be a very short reign for him. And his tag team partner, Tyson Mason. Well, yeah, here is the MMA fire Tyson Mason, who well picked up a well, monumental victory. On, on main, if you're talking about main event, Tim. Yeah, exactly. On that, main event win. Yeah. Joseph the Beast. Tap out win. Yeah. Not many people have done that to Joseph the Beast. <laughs> I think he, so space it might be the first ever person to pull that off. And he got that Mason lock locked in and it took a few attempts, but eventually Joseph the other beast was you know, forced to tap out. Well, let's see what happens. It's tag team action to kick things off on Nitro this week. Well, who is Kenna Momentum? We're about to find out. Marcus Cutter and Cesaro will kick things off. This is going to be a preview. What you're going to see Sunday night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to Nitro tonight. We've got some great things coming your way. We've got the main event is an internet title match, of course, between Ty Dillinger and Curtis Barnett. We've got tag team action in the women's division. Just four days away from that title match, Naomi is going to team up with Asuka here tonight against Summer Rae and Natalia. Well, that's going to be a very interesting matchup, you know. When the champion has to team up with, well, that challenger, can they work together? And as you can see in here, the challenger in a bit of trouble here against the champion. And Marcus Cutter will want to be like this on Sunday night. Not keeps it gives us all any momentum because this is what will happen if you do. Big oh. back elbow, lovely jumping back elbow as well. Yeah, with the spin, I mean, yeah, you do not want to give Cesaro a second to get his composure and momentum. Otherwise, he'll just run with it like no other. The Swiss Superman now in control. Look out. Oh, just throws Marcus Cut over his head with a, a lovely um, throwing in now. Cesaro looking to really hammer home the advantage. Yeah, just looking to really pick apart Marcus Cutter is Cesaro and potentially even look to, you know, inch Marcus Cutter go towards their, you know, title fight at TLC. Scoop. And a oh. Michinuka driver. Now, Marcus Cutter looking to get in at the MMA expert, of course, Tyson Mason. Now, coming across and Cesaro tried to meet him, but Mason cut him off. And there's that big no. forearm, and this is gonna, this is really gonna make Marcus Cutter even more happy if Tyson Mason can do damage to Cesaro. Yes, certainly as well. Nitro will continue. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, remember NSW comes your way five times a week. Raw on a Monday, SmackDown on a Tuesday. You're watching Nitro right now on a Wednesday. High Impact on the Cruiserweights on a Thursday, and main event on Saturday night. Please do remember big announcement from Dino Heyman this Saturday night. Join us, if you can't, for live, join us on the NSW Network in Nonstop Stop Wrestling UK. And of course the Twitter as well. Back we are, ladies and gentlemen, with action. Cesaro back in control here. The challenger looking to maybe get a, a victory over the champion here in this tag team contest. Back and forth action we have here. End of the cover. No. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen? And Cesaro just really looks like he's taunting Marcus Cutter here. Well, I don't know if that's the right idea to do is to taunt a man like Marcus Cutter. You know, come out to really backfire. Now, Cesaro looking to put away the, the champ here. And this would be huge momentum going into Sunday. Uh-oh. Oh, he can it. He can! 
neutralizer. A big neutralizer there, and he is well in his corner there, but but that's a huge mistake there by Cesaro. Max Cutwell gets his hand to his rope with ease. Cesaro now. What's he going to do? Sends him into the middle. You thought you might have went for a pin that time, but not going to work over the leg. And here comes Joseph the other beast. And now, what are you going to do? Off the ropes. Big oh, elbow. Oh, oh, but no cut and moves out the way. Seen it coming in a big chop. And now, oh, this, is Mo this is where Joseph the beast is thinking. This is where Marcus Cutter can be dangerous. You do not want to get the Danish wild man angry. You certainly do not as a whole oh, good lord. Big knee now oh, up on top. He's looking for that Danish stomp. There it is! Oh, it's it. And now he's chosen to the beast out of it. No one gets up from the Danish stomp. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a win for Marcus Cutter and Tyson Mason. Well, it's Marcus Cutter now coming towards TLC with all the momentum on his side. Can we see him well retain his championship? Certainly looking that way. Yeah, big win here tonight and momentum definitely on the side of the Danish wild man. The, nobody gets up from the Danish stump. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote here tonight. And that is... It all over and well. Yep, one tiny stump, and it was ball game. And this is what you'll see, ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday night. It will be one on one. Marcus Cutter defends the Nitro Championship against Cesaro. It comes your way on Sunday night, and you've got to be thinking Cesaro will have to think of a new game plan here, Tim. Yeah, he certainly will have to think of a new game plan. We have to see can Cesaro become new champion and will Marcus Cutter continue well on his reign? We will find out this Sunday night at TLC. Wait, wait a minute. Who gave him oh, a mic? Marcus. Yeah, who gave him a mic? Oh, even that we just grabbed it. I think I think Marcus Cutter still thinks he's in uh still thinks he's in Denmark. There's only there's, there's four days. But never mind. Uh, I well who who gave him this man, I don't think you should give this man a live mic at all. So it's very strong words from Marcus Carter here. Well, looks like just a few short, sharp words to Cesaro by Marcus Cutter. And uh, not again. Oh my God, that, like, is this fight still been going on whilst that match was? Have they not stopped? Well, it looks like these two just will not give in. And the bad blood between these two. And oh my goodness! Oh. Joe Berto trying to take the arm out of Connor Rhodes. Wait, what? Where the hell is security? I don't they need to separate these two. I don't think so. Oh, we want to be. Uh, so, oh, sorry, the security want to be anywhere near these two. As oh, straight into the door. Well, maybe we should get Cesaro to perform some security and try and separate these two. I don't think that's going to work after what just happened. These two now f still fighting on. What is it going to take for one of these two this to stop? Well, I absolutely have no idea. I mean, and no one's going there to try to stop these two. This brawl just continues on. So it looks like some of our production crew saw what was going on and decided they wanted the hell out of there. Well, I wouldn't blame them at all. These two are just like wild animals. Yeah, we're seeing here. Well, Connor Rhodes has had most of this whole backstage situation here. Something needs to give here. Oh, look at this. What is Connor Rhodes thinking? What is he thinking doing up there? Oh, my... Oh. Goodness, Jesus. the knee right into the back, and now, well, I could really have taken out a bit of ones and for all here, and in oh, into the wall. My goodness, these two fighting continues on. You would really think, uh, Tim, that there's going to be nothing left of these two. Yeah, exactly. I don't think there will be anything left. Us oh, into the wall again. Uh, what is Marcus Cutter? Uh, Marcus Cutter, sorry, Connor Rhodes thinking. 
What what is he thinking? Yeah, but what is what is Carlo Rhodes? Oh thinking? my god! Jesus! Oh my god! Gilberto could be seriously injured. Yeah, well, he needs to get medical attention for him right now. My goodness me. Well, let's hope we can get them two to stop that. My goodness me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, back inside the arena here, we're going to have some one-on-one -on -one action between uh, Six Cara and Vadimir. What a wild night to Nitro so far here, Tim. God, this is a wild night and the action continues. As well, I hope that those two have finally been separated. And of course, inside the ring here, ladies and gentlemen, Vadimir of The Connection versus Six Cara of Lucha Lucha FFS. And of course, these are part of teams that will meet for the Nitro Tank Team Championships on Sunday night. Yeah, got a huge match coming up for Sunday night. Well, we'll get some now sequels action here. And oh, oh my. my! Well, I don't think this could last very long. No, I can't. Six cars can absolutely annihilate it here by Vladimir. When you have a, someone that's nearly 400 pounds fly through the air like that and land on your body, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised Six Cars can even still breathe. God, this, I'm surprised he can stand, he can breathe, and even mounts any kind of offense after that. And now, just somehow trying to get back into this uh, with the big man down. But Lucha Lucha FFS are known for their determination. Of course, winning the Tag Team Championships at Over the Limit. Now, they've got a huge task ahead of them on Sunday night when they're taking on the... Looks like the... Look at... Oh, my God. goodness! <laughs> Just a big deadlift sit-out powerbomb there. And as I was saying, Lucha Lucha FFS have got a huge mountain to climb. And that's, and that's no joke on Vadimir. <laughs> on Sunday night. Here is a daunting task that Lucha Lucha FFS have, and well, Six Car on his own has a daunting task here tonight. And now, Six Car desperately trying to get some momentum here, trying to get, trying to put Vladimir away as quickly as possible. I don't see. know if that's physically possible, though. Yeah, because look at this, just backdrops him with ease. You can see, of course, what... What is he thinking about doing here? No, Suffering. nice no, reversal! No. Yeah, oh. oh, but then look at that, just <laughs> shoved down with ease. It just seems like anything Six Cover does, it's just not going to work. And, oh, well, there you go, what, look at that, that's a £400 arm drag for you. Yeah, very impressive arm track. And then just a stomp stem. I don't know how much damage that's going to do. Oh my god, he's not foot. much. My goodness, that could easily take out a knee. And it could completely separate it with the force he had behind that. But look at, again, Six Cara coming back. Yeah, and well, torching to the Odyssey. I don't know how smart that is. Too big. Too big. I, I don't know if you heard. Tim, did you hear that? Hear what? Tell me you heard that. So I might have if you'd spine it. There's a it, lot sounded like a, it sounded like a plane. A, a plane? Um, I, don't know, I don't know if anybody in the Twitch chat could actually have heard. Did anyone else, did anyone else hear that? Are we, are we near an airport? Um, I don't think so. We're in goals! Oh. Well, if we're really close to an airport... Did anyone... I don't think the Twitch chat must have heard it, because nobody said anything, but, uh... Let's get back I in here. Look out! Heard. Look out! Swanton Bomb! Oh, my God! Don't tell me. No ways. He's still going for the cup. Now he goes for the cover. Is he... Did give it too late, though? No! Two count only. No, just a two count, but my God, six cars pulling up one hell of a fight here tonight <laughs> well six core that, and again takes Vladimir down as you can see Chris Keith's mum at ringside of course the French uh, Berrier wearing manager of course of Lucha Lucha FFS I wonder if she ever takes that hat off she might jack it off maybe but does she jack off that mask no that's a mask not a jacket but why would you jack off a pair of eye? I don't know. You might do. 
Six Cora into the co corner. Nope. Pushed away again. And Vadimir, I think, is done playing around. Oh, oh. the divorce court. Well, Six Cora, I think that's it for him. I think it, it could be all over. But he's still moving, give him credit. He's still moving here. And oh, look at this outmaneuvering him here. And well, that heads us into the future armbar here. But has, I don't think he's got it fully. You can see that the huge arms of Vladimir give him that advantage. And well, what is Vince Albright doing here? Oh, come on. You can't, you can't kick Rooney Wayne like that and get away with it. Well, if you're Vladimir, I think you can. As oh, oh my God, no. no. He calls this, ladies and gentlemen, the Russian drop. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and, and that, that ladies and gentlemen, great. is over. Well, I've got to give Six Car a credit for the fight that he put up. But he and Vladimir was just too powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Vladimir. And I think you're looking at the next... Well, Nitro Tag Team Champions right there in the connection. Well, it will happen. On, will it happen on Sunday night? You will have to find out at TLC. Big uphill battle for Lucha Lucha FFS. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, to make it even worse, it is a Tornado Tag Team Extreme Rules. No managers at ringside. You have to get the first pinfall or submission to take the Nitro Tag Team Championship. Which of these, well, two teams will it be? Being Nitro Tag Team Champions at the end of World TLC. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is coming up on Sunday night. So much more still to come here tonight on Nitro. As Oh, not this guy again. How many times are we going to see this this week? I don't know. But, well, he's kind of... Conversation with Dino Heyman there. This is the third time this week. This Brandon Lee's is trying to get on every show. Kurt Angle has already said on Raw this week that he's going to get a match next Monday. He's just trying to get on any show. There he is. Well, there's only so much you could do, though. If, if Kurt Angle's giving you a chance, take that chance. Don't, you know, don't ruin it. Well, let's find. we'll have to find out Monday how that goes on. But ladies and gentlemen, we've got some women's tag team action coming up. Making her way to the ring. She is Summer Rae. Well, there is Summer Rae, one of the, well, big parts of Nitro here. A real talent in Summer Rae. And someone, I think, eventually, given the right time, and could be a Nitro women's champion. And of course, I have picked up a lot of her fan, fan appreciation, could we say the least. Um, not one for to uh, like the fans, but uh, you know the fans are certainly taken to Summer in the last few weeks. Well, you know she's had some impressive victories. Has really shown, you know, what she's made of in the ring. And yeah, she's the one for fans doesn't really care about them. But the fact is, you know, they still respect what she's doing in that ring. Well, Summer waiting for her tag team partner here tonight in Natalia. Well, what a tag team somehow Natalia can make. Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, her tag, her tag team partner even, it's Natalia. And yeah, well, talk about another, you know, huge part of Nitro here is the time. I mean, it's about the experience of her and, well, I think her at some point can make a really formidable tag team here. Well, we'll have to see if this if they can get onto the same page. But uh, you'd be thinking that the next team to come out, well, they've got something else just to be careful with each other because they'll be facing each other on Sunday night for the Nitro Women's Championship. Yes, you got one, and I mean, I think the Italian somebody could coexist very well, but can Naomi and Oscar? I have doubts about that one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents introduce them first. She's the number one contender for the Nitro Women's Championship, Naomi. So yeah, here is Naomi, well, the number one contender. She won 
Well, six women's powder royal. Very heated contest, but now oh, she's got that huge match against Oscar. Tonight she's got to team up with her. Yeah. What a what a tag team it's gonna be. Can they trust each other? That's the thing you've got to think about here, Tim, in this matchup. Yeah, there is a huge shit to think about, you know, can they work together? Can they coexist? I've got to wonder, I don't know if they can. Natalia are ready for action on the outside. Naomi just swatting her off, of course. I think she's only got one person in mind here, Tim, and that's the woman who's going to be out next. Ladies and gentlemen, her tag team partner, she is the current Nitro Women's Champion, Oscar. Yeah, I think I'll have to agree that I think both Naomi and Oscar maybe, you know, a little too focused on each other when they go into this tag team matchup considering, you know, TLC coming up as well. I don't know if the team can work together and that could give the tally in some way a huge advantage. And you've got to think, will one of, will these girls be reluctant to tag in, shall I say, Tim? You know, they might be reluctant to tag it because, you know, the fact is they're going to face each other at TLC this Sunday. And, you know, one of them may want to see the other one get hurt more. So they may, you know, yeah, be very reluctant to, to get tagged in. Well, the Nitro Women's Champion is here. And she is ready for war every time inside that ring. What is going to happen? It's tag team action next on Nitro. Yeah, what will happen? Yeah, great tag team action here. Great women's division action. Here we go then. And it is Rooney Wayne, of course, your official for this one. Is summary with a handful of hair just throws net at Naomi down. I will keep saying Natalia. Just, to, you know, you can't help a beautiful lady being on the, the ringside there, Tim. Agreed. Well, I don't think it'd be a good idea to, um, for well, Summery to grab Natalia's hair and throw her halfway across the ring. Yes, that would be very strange. As uh, Naomi quick to get out of that. And oh, it's straight down with the arm and Summer Rae continuing this recent form of hers, which as I said in June, the intro Tim has made her really the fans come to like her even more each and every week. Yeah, they sure do because you know Summer Rae's really shown great improvement, you know, in that ring and she's shown it right here against Naomi. And I think a part of Asuka might be enjoying seeing Naomi again beaten down. Yeah, just nice knee into the back. And, well, you've got to see it somewhere here in control early on. And Tim, we, we're talking about it in four nights. It will be the, the Nitro Women's Championship on the line, of course, when uh, As Asuka defends against Naomi. Any predictions from you for that one? Oh, it's, uh, it's going to be very difficult to predict, but, you know, I think you, you could base a lot from this tag team matchup on who, you know, gets you. Well, advantage, but I might pull for Oscar again now when she's just vicious in that ring, knows how to get the chop done, and come to LC. I don't think there's anything stopping her. Oh, look at this double team! <laughs> and oh, oh, and the kick, my goodness! And you notice Oscar not really too keen to get inside the ring. Now, that's what I'm saying, you know, that's, you know, kind of maybe showed a bit of veteran instinct there. Saying, so, look, I know my tactic opponent, my opponent this Sunday. I'm going to let her take all the punishment. If I can pick up the scraps, I will. But if I get a loss here tonight, well, I don't really care. And you could hear the scream there from Naomi's the boot right into the side of the jaw, just under like under the chin almost. And well, Rooney Wayne is having his um, complete and utter nightmare here tonight with these four girls. You know, I think so. Is well, Naomi's in severe trouble, and if she can get attacked, she desperately needs it. No. Oh, no, this could be the, the recovery that she needed. Takes down Natalia. 
How is she going to come across here? Now is she going to tag? Oh, well, there you have it. Tag well, yeah, in. There is, yeah, there's a tag. Very interesting, seems that. You know, maybe Oscar has just that much more respect than what I was possibly thinking and more honor than that. But yeah. it looks like she's got herself in a bad position. Yeah, that chop block can easily take out uh, the, the back of her knee, can easily cause long term damage. But it looks like Oscar out of it for now. And, oh! Look at this, just a handful of hair. And Summer Ray, oh my goodness, almost hung up on the top rope there. On oh, the bottom rope, sorry. And again with the armbar. And now it's Naomi's turn just to stand there and smile a little. Yeah, I think. You know, Naomi's going to breathe it here, and this is really paid dividends for Oscar. Uh oh. Knight to the submission of what in the world? Yeah, you've got to see, I think. Oscar was quick to get out of that. She knew that it, if she was in that for much longer, it could have been all over. Nice take by Oscar now of the arm. And now, oh, there's that vicious knee. We've seen her do that on plenty of occasions. Yeah, she is a real expert when it comes to the striking game. Could just easily knock you out of her kicks and knees. Oh, was, I thought you went for a girl sent on. Yeah, it looked like it, but maybe a mix of an elbow drop in there, and it didn't quite work out. And Summer will take full advantage. Planting Asker into the mat. And Tim, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think Asker would be barefoot is really a disadvantage? You know, I've always been wondering that about Asker, but it's almost like she just keeps up with it because of, I don't know, her tradition in that ring. It's just part of her oh, and, oh what a kick but whoa natalia seven i don't, think, I don't must have caught oliver there no i think oscar caught very little of that kick to be fair natalia i think sidestepped it just enough and look at this now what is natalia thinking double oh my God. no way oh way super <laughs> jesus my God goodness halfway across the ring and well how is Asuka still even going to be able to stand after that oh nutty by nature yeah it's that disc is close on there and this could be it no just a two and did you notice something there Tim yeah no I'm just a little bit slow to get in there yeah, it just wasn't really paying attention you would think and oh no uh -oh. sharpshooter and she's got it locked in! And look at Na Naomi again! Just sort of took her time before breaking that hold up. Yeah, so she just decides she wanted to casually, you know, walk over there. As I say, this like she kind of wanted Samurai to stop her. And look at this, and oh, look at it, look! Naomi, look at Naomi! And, and that's three! Well. As I said, I had a feeling this would happen. You know, Samurai and Natalia were just a well-oiled machine. And there was just so much miscommunication between Oscar and Naomi. This really doesn't surprise me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, Natalia and Samurai! Well, now I've got to wonder which woman is going into TLC in worse condition. I think it might be Oscar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Nitro Women's title will be on the line this Sunday night. And you now know that this has just made it that little bit more interesting now. Who will come out on top and who will leave TLC with the Nitro Women's title? Will it be Asuka or Naomi? Yeah, we'll find out this Sunday at TLC. Well, Asuka's got no real momentum card towards that match. What condition are these women in? It is coming up Sunday night, ladies and gentlemen, the Women's Championship. You know that that is going to be a, a very, very hard battle. And well, this is Ian Riley, ladies and gentlemen, and this is why this next match has taken place. That is Ravishing J Masters. Now, it looked like Ian Riley was trying to get J Masters onto his side here. And, uh, well, that's what happened. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. Nothing really... No, can on then. No handshake at all. Not interested. Indeed. So this is why we've now got this following contest, ladies and gentlemen, on Nitro. 
Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is Ravishing J. Mustas. Well, here he is, Ravishing One himself. A bit of a transformation for J. Mustas, of course. And, uh, well, you've got to say that he uh, lives up to that Ravishing name. Very interesting match to see if this you know, new persona being well simply ravaging it's gonna work out for Jay Masters. Well he likes to call everybody uh sweat hogs and uh look at that physique. Oh, it's, it's a lovely physique we about to see well more of it. German. His opponent, he is one member of the A-listers. He is Ian Riley. Yeah, here's Ian Riley. I mean, he tried to get him with being friends with, well, Jay Masters, and it did work out. Now, Ian Riley, well, he's not happy. He wants to, well, I guess, pee in the face of the simply ravishing one. You don't, come on, you just don't respect an A-lister, though, surely. Oh, he, he's an A-lister, I guess. But, you, you know, j Buster thinks he's above the A-listers. I mean, have you looked at him? Well, you have to say that um, he's going to have to show off some ravishing moves here tonight if he is going to defeat Ian Riley. Now, yes, Ian Riley, he is an A-lister, but, you know, j Masters, he's now, you know, a, a grand supermodel. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Ravishing J Masters. Ian Riley, the A-lister. And here we go. We need to get this underway. Tim, what do you make of this? What do you make of J Masters' uh, new uh, look here, of course? Coming after what we've known him for so many years, of course. And now, just look at it. Lovely blonde locks. Lovely physique. You've got to be saying that this man's simply ravishing. No, I have to agree with that. And I think, you know, this new persona for him, this new look, you know, really just up at his game in terms of getting in shape, could, you know, really be the change his career he needs. You've got to be saying, what if Ian Riley can put away Jay Masters here and put, and really, what would that do to his career, of course? He's always said that, yes, he, tag team is his specialty, but he would love to be known as a singles wrestler as well. Yeah, exactly. And if he and Riley can pin a man like Chain Masters, well, I'll say And help. anyone! Even someone who's an A-lister can do a Russian leg sweep. Yeah, and well, and oh, no, look at this now. Ian Riley can into the submission here. And Chain Masters is in a hell of a lot of trouble. Yeah, but the ravishing one just comes out of it. And now the aggression will come forward. Many people not liking what they're seeing in um, Ravish and J Masters, but you've got to say you've got to be impressed when you can do moves like that. Oh, I'm definitely impressed. And well, these fans sometimes they could just be stupid idiots. They can't appreciate what is a simply ravishing one. Now, look at this again. Just stay off. Look at this. Just another <laughs> vertical suplex. Lovely, lovely suplex. These fans. They're just filthy sweat hogs. Oh, they are indeed, and look at this. Oh, gee, Masters, look at the balance up there. And there's the, oh. the flying clothesline. And, well, it might not be too long before the ravishing one here. Oh, look at this. Look at this arrogance. Oh, look at that lovely elbow drop there. Not before kissing the, uh, the, the guns. Well, you, you have to appreciate what you've got, but oh, look at this! Wow! Amazing athleticism there. But now, look at this, just a handful of head. Now, Ian Riley has had enough. You, as I said, you don't respect the A-list, and Ravishing J Masters quick to get out of there now. Look at this, a bit of mind games, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. Who's going to get the better of these mind games, though? And, oh, Ian oh and it's J Masters. Yeah, Ian Riley swung for the hills there. And, oh, lovely backbreaker. And now again, Ravishing J Masters in control. What is he thinking? Not another suplex. 
Oh my goodness, another big vertical suplex. A lovely vertical suplex there, and Jay Masters will hit in firm control at this time. And uh oh, oh DDT! Oh. Jesus, what a DDT there. I think he could have just. Oh, even more disrespect. But Jay Masters doesn't care because no one will ever have the looks he has. And now. No, oh, look at this again. Dropping the elbow right across the chest. This is just torture now by Jay Mosser. But no, look at Ian Riley. Yeah, Ian Riley, they're fighting back. And, oh. oh, look at that, though. Jay Mosser dodged out the way. Yeah, went for the spinning uh, heel kick. And then, oh, look at the vertical suplex. That's about the fourth or fifth one. Yeah, he just makes it look so effortless there, and then just dropping the elbow onto the face. And now, I think Jay Masters has done playing around. Look out. Oh, the ravishing neck breaker. Oh, and that is just simply ravishing. Cover two and three ravishing Jay Masters picks up the win this week on Nitro well very impressive victory for well Jay Masters simply ravishing right there ladies and gentlemen the winner of this contest ravishing Jay Masters well how many women will he have in the hotel room tonight well it's got to be at least in the tens it has to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about it all night, but we cannot wait for our second pay-per-view of Season 5. It is TLC coming your way on Sunday night. You do not want to miss it. Of course, we already know Nitro's big championship match. Of course, there's also matches from Raw as well. Watch out on the network for a very special show coming before Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next contest. Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is Thomas Starr. And there he is. There is Thomas Starr. Well, one of the very well-known names here in Nitro. And one that has not been having the best of times recently. No, he certainly hasn't, but you know, maybe tonight could be the night where he starts turning things around, turning his luck around. Well, of course he's going to be up against the cage, Daniel Cage, here tonight. And Thomas Stuff, of course. Well, you can see in recent weeks that he's becoming more and more agitated uh, with every loss that goes by. Thomas Starr, ladies and gentlemen, ready for action tonight on Nitro. And will this be the night? Can this finally be Thomas Starr's opportunity to start turning things around? We would have to hope so. But it's going to be a very, very difficult, you'd say, Tim, against this man who he's facing tonight oh, ladies and gentlemen he is the cage Daniel Cage yeah it will be very difficult against a man like Daniel Cage the cage himself and on top of Stone, I mean, he's got to go in there with someone who is well, so experienced in that ring Daniel Cage of course an NSW original and well if you, think, if you want to face someone when you're trying to get out of a rut of losses, this man isn't the one you really want to face. No, he really is because Tim Cage, as I said, you know, he's an in-ring vet. He's just done pretty much everything you can imagine real NS Tubby original. And Thomas Starr's got a hell of a tough match ahead of him. And of course, the millions and millions of the Cage fans here in Pensacola, Florida. They're all on their feet 
when this man hits the ring. Yep. The fans absolutely here. Tore down of cages as Tuffy Fats. Well, we've known him for so long. Oh. Tim, I, I know what you mean. Frog in the throat for Tim, I think. I would understand that, Tim. What do you mean? It just sounded like you had a bit of a frog in your throat. Oh, no, I'm, I am absolutely fine. I can assure you of that. Uh, but I'll tell you one man that might not be fine, and that's Thomas Starr. It's Daniel Cage, Thomas Starr, next on Nitro. Yeah, Thomas Starr could be in for, well, a very bad night, and for, well, his bad luck to just continue. Well, as I say, we're, we're sort of counting him out here. And Tim, that's not fair on someone like Thomas Starr. He, he can get the job done, and if he can pick up a win over Daniel Cage tonight, We've talked about it on many occasions, that what it can do for your confidence here in NSW. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Tom Stark could pick up a hit victory over Daryl Cage, which is very possible. Be absolutely huge with Thomas Star, I think. He would definitely boost his confidence and would came out of that well right as you said. Well. Look at this now. Backed into the corner. What is he thinking about doing? Nope. I think the only way it'll be best to get rid of these two, back each other off and try and start again. Off the ropes. And oh, look at that. A flying lariat by Daniel Cage already. And this is what I'm saying about Daniel Cage. If Daniel Cage is... If, if it's his night, if he feels up for it, this man is sometimes unbeatable. Yeah, he certainly is. Yeah, Daniel Cage has shown that in the past, you know. The championships he's held, and then how unbeatable he could be. And as I say, Thomas Stars, you know, gotta figure out a way to neutralize that. Well, that will go some way of doing it, just a, a shot across the chops. And now, look at this, just a oh, disrespect by Thomas Starr. But hey, you'll have to try anything if your luck's not in recently. Yeah, exactly, and that's what, what Thomas Starr's looking to do, you know. I think he may go into, you know, who's in any means necessary, but sometimes you have to go down that road. Oh, look out. Oh, nice. Right across the shin. And really, Daniel Cage on a roll here. As anybody, even the Cage, can do a Russian leg sweep. Yeah, we certainly can, and uh-oh, has Daniel Cage got planned here? Some hard flying, it looks like. And right between the eyes, a lovely double axe handle. And Tim, you can notice this here, that in recent weeks, Thomas Starr just has not got into the matches, and again tonight, is struggling to get any offense in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this could be his charge, and there is some so offense. I mean... I can't exactly remember who it was against, but there was that match where he got zero offense in. Yeah, it, and that, of course, was against Tiny 8 on main event. And, of course, Thomas Stars had his problems yeah, with Tiny 8, of eight. course. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that was Tiny 8's, you know, debut on main event. And, yeah, just Thomas Stark got no offense in. But, finally, he's getting offense on Tannum Cage. Look at this on the outside, of course, a 10 count to play with here. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, we have our main event. It is for the internet title. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10, will take on Curtis Barnett. Voted in by you, the fans. There's a nice draw break, and now look at this again. Oh, look like Thomas Starr hurt his hand there. But the drop kick caught Daniel Cage sweet under the chin. I mean, these two need to get back in rings. Some point. I mean, this match could end in a double count out. Good indeed. No, Thomas Starr back inside here. Thomas Starr uh, maybe trying to take anything for the win. No, look at that slide back out and breaks the count. Well, that's very interesting of Thomas Starr to go ahead and do that. I know. You know oh, I my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. There is no protection on that ramp at all. Not at all. And Thomas Starr. And oh, God. Thomas, how can he be proud of himself when he's doing stuff like that? Well, it doesn't come. I think we've got to a level for Thomas Star where he's just had enough of these losses. He's just willing to go to any lengths now. Now, back inside the ring. 
Thomas, Thomas Doyle's had all the offense, but Daniel Cage can turn it just like that. And the snapmare takeover. And now just slowing the pace down to his, uh, what he wants it to be. And that's what Dan Daniel Cage is so good at, Tim. Yeah, exactly. You know, Daniel Cage is very wise at that. Just slowing down to his pace, keep it in his control and, you know, not get frustrated. What's he going to do here? Sends him into the ropes. And there's that clothesline again. Knocking Thomas Starr down. Just knocking him down like it's nothing. Uh-oh. And into the sharpshooter. Yeah. Oh, but look at that. Well, no, I thought Thomas Starr got his hands to the rope, but uh, maybe he used his leverage to get out. Oh, car breaker! Oh. Out of nowhere, Eternal Cage could be knocked out. This could be the win that Thomas Starr looks for. Has he got him? No, a two can only. Oh my goodness, just a two can. I thought that was it there. That code breaker well, basically from out of nowhere. And now, where, what's Thomas Starr thinking about here? Looking for the leap. Caught! Cage bottom! <laughs> Oh my god, what a catch and that's it, ball okay. That is it, and Daniel Cage, just like that, picks up the win. Well, the bad luck just continues for Thomas Starr here, but Daniel Cage, he's the victor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a result for Daniel Cage, he picks up the W tonight. And well, it just shows you in NSW how quick things can change. Yep, Tom Starstreak kept going for some high risk and just got caught. And well, it forces him to suffer another loss. Daniel Cage is your winner here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on Nitro. Wait a minute, that's Time the Apes music. Oh boy. Thomas Starr's got back up, he's ready for him. And oh, look out! Oh, Thru there's Time Eight, look out behind you. Through the crowd, and Time Eight has attacked Thomas Starr once again. Well, it looks very happy with that. I mean, I think Thomas Starr needs to get some eyes to the back of his head as, oh no. I'm telling you, Tiny is not through. Oh, come on, not the arm. Oh, oh. He wants to put... Oh, God, Jesus. He wants to put Thomas Starr onto the shelf by the looks of it. And look at this standing on the arm this time. A vicious third chair shot to the arm. I think we need to get some serious help for Thomas Starr. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go and well. This happened during the last match, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of um, confrontation here between these two. And look at that slap. And well, you know yeah. Sunday night is just going to be a little bit more aggression between these two, Tim. It's going to give I think, very personal come Sunday at TLC. Wait a minute. What's this? Really? Okay. okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. He would like to be now known as... The one, Curtis Barnett. Well, very interesting. I mean, we even saw the Curtis Barnett's a little bit of pyro now, and he now wants to be the one Curtis Barnett. Uh, how did he go? Uh, well, I don't know what this is all about. New, new entrance music, new, uh, new attitude, maybe. It certainly seems like it, and well, can his new attitude help Curtis Barnett come one of the well top guys here on my tribe? Uh, the one Curtis Barnett, please. The one Curtis Barnett, yeah. He is the only one. Uh, but you may have one, but we've got a perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, the current internet champion. Ty Dillinger. Yeah. 
Curtis Bond here. Well, we better look to cook up the one Curtis Bond that we, we have. The perfect 10 here. And he's into the champion. And well, can he successfully defend it against the one Curtis Bond Ed? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the internet championship is voted in by exactly you, the viewers. All you need to do is keep an eye for our, on our Twitter for our poll, which will come up ne after next week's show. The internet championship is defended every two weeks. And of course, you get to choose who faces the champion um, in, well, two weeks' time. Oh, well, who will be voting and who will be the champion going into that matchup? We're about to find out. In the last poll, ladies and gentlemen, Curtis Bonnet, 31%, uh, six clear viewers, Suzuki and Nick uh, Parker, and of course, Gilberto on 19%, but I think he's a bit uh, occupied with someone else at the moment. Yeah, I think he is. I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, medical is attending to him, but we haven't heard anything about that. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Internet Championship. Course, it's good to have those two on fighting around Pensacola now. Well, I have been told, ladies and gentlemen, that Gilberto has been taken to a local medical facility. Uh, Connor Rhodes has been told to get out of the building and stay away. I wonder what we'll find out anything on main, main event this Saturday night. Anything about uh, Gilberto? Yeah, hopefully we'll get the news getting up down his condition, but... Uh, what, what if Conor Rhodes goes to the hospital or the local medical facility? Um, well, let's just hope that doesn't happen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, stay, stay tuned to our Twitter, of course, for any updates. As uh, the Perfect 10 looks to become... Uh, well, still the Perfect 10. I don't know how you can get better than Perfect 10, to be honest, Tim. He looks to, you know, remain per Perfect 10, remain internet champion. Once well, the one Curtis Barnett looks to become internet champion. And already, it looks like Ty Dillinger could be looking maybe to put away this very early and maybe just a, a quick night at the office. Yes, certainly. I mean, that's the sort of thing you have to do against someone like the one Curtis Barnett. Is, you know, you just got to put him away quickly, you know, keep him grounded. Because Curtis Barnett, if he gets an advantage, he'll just go very far with it. I mean... Because he has got huge amounts of experience. Of course, the one, Curtis Bonnet, the perfect 10. And there's them 10 chance again, Tim. The fans love Ty Dillinger. Yeah, they certainly do. They are very much behind Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. Both these men in these matchups sure love their nicknames. Oh, well, at the end of the day, that's what the fans love to see. They love to see hard action and great nicknames. Two, two count. Yeah, just a two count, but Ty Dillinger being rest by that, just looking to wear down the one Curtis Barnett. And then a lovely drop kick. And now, Ty Dillinger has really been in control this entire match. Look out. Neck breaker! Oh, what a neck breaker! And already, Ty Dillon. Oh, you, you, really? You think he's thinking about it already? So I could be. I mean, as I said, put him away. The one Curtis Barnett is you know, trying to do the best thing. He's put him away quickly as a tiebreaker. That has surely got to be it. Rooney waiting into the corner. Has he got him? No, two count only. Yeah, just a two count. I mean, almost similar to the GTS, you could say. Oh, ten! Oh, you can hear Ty Dillinger. He is getting ready. But no, Curtis Barnett attacks! With a lovely oh, that was a, Yeah, that was a huge mistake by Ty Dillinger there to taunt to the fans. As I said, you give Curtis Barnett a room to manoeuvre, he'll go with it. That's why he's the one. Yeah, that is exactly why. To set that use of space for them. Look at that from Ty Dillinger. And Dillinger may be thinking he's had enough and time to put this one to bed. Look out. Oh, that is the tiebreaker number two. And that is that.
and Ty Dillinger remains your internet champion. Well, he had the perfect tense till. Well, the perfect internet champion. It will be the next one to be voted in to challenge Ty Dillinger. Yeah, Ty Dillinger remains the internet champion. And ladies and gentlemen, we are full steam ahead for TLC on Sunday night. What a night of Nitro. And Ty Dillinger remains your internet champion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being a part of tonight's show. And of course, remember, tomorrow night it is high impact. The Cruiserweights take centre stage 10 o'clock in the UK. Tim, as always, say goodbye to your fans. Goodbye, fans. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being a part of Nitro. We will see you for high impact. From Tim Price and Dave Easton, we'll see you soon. <laughs>